Namaste. Today we will learn tenth chapter that is circle. So first we will recall some points from the previous classes. So coming to circle, this is the center of the circle, and you know what is radius. Radius is actually the line drawn from the center to any point on the circle. There are infinite number of radius in a circle. Here, all these are radius. Now coming to circumference, it is the perimeter of the circle. That is, if we cut the circle from here, open it and keep it as a straight line, that length, that is this total length, perimeter length is called the circumference. Next, coming to arc, if there are two points on a circle, it is called the arc. As in a line, we have a piece and it is called line segment. Similarly, in the circle, this piece is called arc, that is minor arc. And this bigger piece is called the major arc. Now coming to chord, if there are two points and if we join it, then you will get the chord. That is the chord divides the circle to two segments. Here you can see the major segment and here minor segment. And if the chord is drawn through the center, then it is the diameter. And in diameter, both the segments are equal. That is they are divided into semicircles. Now coming to sector. If we draw two radius, this portion is called the sector of a circle. So you can see a major sector and a minor sector. Next, let us check some theorems which we have already learned in the previous classes. Theorem 1, equal chords subtends equal angles at center. That is, if there are equal chords here and they are subtended to the center of the circle, that is, this length are equal and the angle formed here at the center will be equal and also vice versa that is if two angles subtended from chords at the center are equal then the length of the chords will be equal if these two angles are equal the length of the chords will be equal second theorem equal chords are equidistant from the center that is if these two chords are equal then this length and this length will be equal if these two chords are equal length, then this distance are equal. Vice versa, that is if two chords are equidistant from the center, then the length of the chords will be equal. Now third theorem, a perpendicular drawn from center to chord. If we have a chord here and if it is a perpendicular drawn, then it bisect the chord. That is this chord is equally divided the perpendicular line drawn from the center bisects the chord vice versa that is here the bisector is perpendicular then that line passes through the center this line passes through the center next theorem the angle subtended by an arc at center that is if this is the arc angle subtended by the arc at center if this is subtended to the center and the angle formed here is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the circle. That is from the same points subtending to any other point on the circle. We will get this angle and this angle will be double this angle. If you draw like this also you will get an angle here. Again this angle will be double this angle. Next theorem is if we have a diameter here passing through the center and if there is another point here on the circle the line drawn from here will form an angle here but it will always be a right angle if the point is here then again we will get another angle and this will also be right angle if the point is here also if we join this you will get a right angle in a semicircle from these two points, if you subtend it to a point on the semicircle, you will always get right angles. Next, let us draw a sector here. This is the minor sector and this will be the major sector. A reflex angle, that is this angle. And from this arc, we can extend and you will get an angle here. So, this reflex angle and this angle have a relation. That is, this reflex angle will be double this angle here. It will be the double. If this is P, A, Q and if this is O, angle P, O, Q, that is this reflex angle will be double 
angle P A Q. Angle P A Q. Next theorem. Angles in same segment of a circle are equal. That is, if this is one segment and this is the another segment. So in this segment, if there are so many angles, all will be equal. Next theorem. If a line joining two points subtend equal angles at two other points lying on the same side of line, the four points lie on circle. That is, here two points are the join it and two other points on the circle forms angle here, equal angles. These four points lying on the circle and they are concyclic. That is one theorem. Next, let us check cyclic quadrilateral. That is a four-sided figure inside the circle. So, here you can see four angles. Angle A plus angle C will be 180. Also, angle D plus angle B is 180. Next, let us check how many circles we can pass through a single point. If this is a single point, you can have so many circles passing through the single point. If there are two points, then also you will get infinite number of circles passing through two different points if there are three distinct points then you will get only a unique circle passing through that three points non-collinear points we can have only one circle passing through three different points next coming to this chapter this is a circle and a line is passing outside the circle that's not touching then it is non-intersecting line if there is a line passing through the circle, then there will be two points. The line will intersect at two points on a circle. If it is passing through this edge, then there will be only one single point intersecting on the circle. And this line is called secant and this is the tangent. This is a chord. If it is a line segment, you will call it as chord. If it is a line, you will call it as secant. Exercise 10.1. How many tangents can a circle have? We can draw infinite number of tangents on a circle. Fill in the blanks. A tangent to a circle intersect it in dash points. Only one point. Next is a line intersecting at a circle on two points is called secant. Third one, a circle can have dash parallel tangents at the most this is one tangent how many parallel tangent can be drawn that is we have only two parallel tangents next the common point of a tangent to a circle and the circle is called that is this point is called point of contact 